I wanted to share with you an exercise that I invented for myself a long time ago that I call octave rubs. And the object of the exercise is to help your hand conquer the geometry of the fingerboard. I have this theory about the geometry of, of the fingerboard, which I don't know if it's true or not, but I think that the fact that the steps between the notes get smaller and smaller as you go up and larger and larger as you go down is something that actually makes the fingerboard less confusing rather than more confusing. Because what happens is when you train your hand a lot, as you go up, your hand gets used to contracting. This way, you know if your fingers are close together, you know pretty much where you are. Or if you're in a certain place, your hand automatically contracts to the right position. I think, for example, if the fingerboard were composed of steps that were all the same, it might be easier to know what a whole step is, except you wouldn't really know where you are because nothing has changed between the positions. Now, here's what an octave rub is. It involves getting the hand in the position, uh, a good position for the octave, which in my book is always uh, the hands over top of the scale. So the fingers are over the nose. And it involves taking that octave, once it's really in tune, and sliding, keeping it in tune all the while. Start. Let's try that again. This is very hard to do because you have to listen at the same time that the pitch is moving, adjust the pitch so that it always stays in tune. Now, the way you adjust the pitch, I adjust the pitch on the octave is by moving the thumb because naturally up and down very, very easily. Third moves less easily, and also it makes no sense if the octave is out of tune to try to adjust both. So, try adjusting the thumb always to the third finger, and start all the way at the bottom. And go all the way up and down the cello until you can do it fairly consistently and keep the note in tune without stopping the hand. If you get to a place where it's out of tune, you can rub over that place a few times. Until the hand learns the correct geometry for that area. Now, also, within the same idea, uh, of configuring the hand in certain positions, you can do fourths. It should always, always sound, of course, consonant if they're in tune. Um, and you would do fourths with one and two, with one and three, with two and four. And for two and four, when I get here, analogous to two and four in the lower positions. So try this. Try the octave rubs. I think you'll find them challenging, maybe even maddening at first. But if you do them, and you can do them really well, I think it'll help you play even better in tune.